This week, are you lazy? Good, because you need to be lazy to have other people do the card trick and make you look good for it, because you're so lazy. Lazy? This lovable rap scallion brought to you by Audible.com. Welcome to the only school where your textbook smells like beer and your uniform is stained with free drinks. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I have a question for you. What is better than pulling off a kick-ass card trick? Answer, pulling off a kick-ass card trick where you don't have to handle the cards, they do all the hard work, you take all the credit, plus you drink the entire time. Let's check this one out. All right, hanging out with my new BFFs, we got Aaron Michael and Alex, what was your last name, Alex? Lee. Alex Lee of Career Eagle. Uh, tell me real quick what you guys do. So we use online videos to help people select careers and prepare for job interviews. And then you teach them how to scam free drinks at the bar, right? You're trying to move in on my turf. Exactly. I won't stand for it, people. <laughs> All right, here, I got something for you guys that, uh, that should be pretty easy, and it's my favorite trick because I literally don't do a damn thing. I get to sit here and drink while you guys do a card trick. Do either of you know a card trick? No. Nope. You're about to know one. Who wants to be the one to handle the cards here? Alex, I want you to shuffle up the cards. Make sure there's absolutely no possible way I can know what order they're in while I sit and dream. I, I, I told you, I don't want to handle the cards. Oh, you guys, right. here's what I want you to do, Alex. Set, set them right here, and okay. I want you to cut two times over so you end up with three piles as perfectly close to even as you can make it, right? Three piles? Yep. Three piles. Now, now again, you've shuffled all the cards. There's no way for me to know what cards are. And if you want to kind of even those out, make sure they're three roughly about as close as they can be. So now you've selected three Let's piles, go. totally random sure. cards. I want you to pick up one of those piles. That'll be your pile. And I want you to pick it. Yep, that'll be fine. And don't let me see it, but I want you to pick it up. I want you to look at the top card and show it to Aaron over here so you guys can both know what the top card is. You got it? Got it. And again, this is a kind of, don't forget, you got to remember the suit and the value, right? Here's where it gets interesting. I want you to flip the cards face up. Like flip them straight on over, there you go. And I want you to set that pile on either one of the other two piles. Put the other one on top so we make an Oreo. Take that deck, cut it in half, and riffle shuffle those two halves together. <laughs> all right, squeeze them all together. All right, so pick those cards up. I want you to hold the cards in your hands. I want you to cut off about half the cards. And I want you to complete the cut. There you go. Do the same thing again. In fact, I want you to keep cutting the cards as many times as you want until you're certain there's no way I can know where in the deck your card is. Because the problem is, I obviously, I watched you separate the cards, I watched you shuffle them. Maybe if I had crazy eagle eyes, I could see where in the deck they were. I don't want you to see any of that, right? I don't want you to believe that that's even possible. So you just keep cutting the cards until you're certain there's no way I could know where your card is in the deck and I will continue to drink. Sure. So far, this is my favorite trick we've ever taught on Scam School. I think. You got Very it? Good. You're happy? Yep. This is the only time I'm touching the cards, right? Remember what happened. You shuffled up the cards. You yep. picked piles. You picked your card. You shuffled them all up face up and a face down. We ended up with this great big old fat giant mess, right? Mm -hmm. You got cards that are face up, cards that are face down, cards that don't know what the hell's going on. And I've got a feeling about this one right here. I don't know why. I just feel some mojo. What was, what was the card that you guys picked? Ten of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. You both confirmed it was Ten yes. of Diamonds. If this really is the Ten of Diamonds, even though you shuffled it, you did everything, you did the whole trick, all I did was pick a card, would that be worth a beer, right? It no. would indeed. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> all right, now, so you like that one, right? Ooh. Wow. Seriously, there's nothing you have to do. The trick does itself. You look like a badass. Do you guys want to know how to do this one? Absolutely. All right, we're going to find out, but we got to thank our sponsors. <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our friends over at Audible. How great is Audible? They're the number one provider of spoken word entertainment with 100,000 books to choose from. Now we're talking about AAA titles read by top-notch entertainers who make these books come alive in your ear holes while you're doing other menial crap. You're not there physically doing the dishes. Your brain is off in some other dimension battling space warriors. You're not taking out the trash. You're slaying dragon witches with your six shooters. 
That's why I say go ahead and check out one of my all-time favorite series, The Dark Tower by Stephen King. It starts with book one, The Gunslinger. You're looking at seven books for the series, plus a bunch of Stephen King's other books are all secretly about The Dark Tower. Best of all, it's going to be made into a movie and TV show coming up in the next couple of years, and you can be first. Just head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scan school and you will get a book completely free just for signing up. We will look amazing. You guys will make us happy. Scam school will stay in business and you will get to experience the Dark Tower. At least the first book. After that, you're going to pay. But it's worth it. It's freaking audible. All right, so out of all the tricks we've covered on Scam School, this is one that a lot of people keep suggesting. And I gotta be honest, I never really quite gave it its due until I full on tried it for a few friends of mine and they reacted just the way you did. And I was surprised at what a powerful effect this is because all of the pieces are there. They do all the shuffling. You think there's no way they can know which card is where. You get to sit there and then take all the credit at the end. So now I'm a big comfort, big believer in this. So you really do have the cards as shuffled as they can make it. Then, it's important that when you ask them to separate the card into three piles, that you ask them to be as even as possible, and you'll understand why in just a moment. But it truly doesn't matter what order they're in, it truly doesn't matter which pile they pick up to be their pile. So in this case, I'm gonna pick up this pile right here, and I'm gonna peek my card, we'll say it's the nine of spades is the one we're gonna look for, okay? And you do the Oreo sandwich move, where, and again, it doesn't matter which pile it goes on, but you want two piles face down, one pile face up, kind of in this sort of, like I said, Oreo sandwich move, right? Mm -hmm. Now remember, our card is gonna be the nine of spades, which is the very top of the reversed pile. So you hand it over to them, you ask them to separate the pile. Now I go the extra step here and say, try to get two piles as even as you can. The reason being is because what I don't wanna have happen is have somebody pull off like just a few cards on top and get a un real uneven shuffle. So instead I ask them to get two roughly equal piles and then do a riffle shuffle. So here's the important part. As I shuffle through the cards, you'll notice we have a little bit of face up cards going into face down cards. And then we hit this brief area where we're doing face down into face down. And then we run into face up into face down again. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. Now that's, a, that's an artifact of the fact that we have at the top, we had the, you know, all face down. At the bottom, we had all face down. In the middle, we had face up and face down. And when you cut it, that's what ends up happening. So the important thing is, once you do that riffle shuffle, it's that block where we have face down going into face down that we're looking for. But before we do, we have them shuffle the cards just like you saw. We have them cut the cards as many times as they want. Now, here's something that most people don't realize. And we've talked about this before on Scam School, but no matter how many times you cut the cards, you're not actually changing the order of the cards. If you think about the order of cards as a wheel, all that cutting does is change where the break in the wheel is as you keep going around in circles. Mm. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So that's why it's important that you actually say, do one cut, then complete the cut, instead of saying, just mix the cards up, because then they would be shuffling the cards and you'd be screwed. So then, last thing that happens, this is the first time you guys touch the cards. You pick up the deck. This is the one move you do, is you gotta take all the cards. Right now, we know that their card is somewhere face up in the deck, because remember, theirs was in the face up pile. So what I do is I take this pack of cards and I turn it face down and spread them out just like so. Now here's what you'll notice. You'll notice there's a bunch of cards where we have face ups and the face downs. But you remember that brief area when we were shuffling and we had a bunch of face downs and the face downs? That's what this block is right here. This bunch of face up cards all in one section. Now remember, your card that you picked was the topmost card in the uh, pack that we reversed, right? Which means if you find that block of all face up cards in a row, your card is going to be the first face down card after that block to the left of it. So in this case, now what was, what was the card we were looking for at the beginning? It was the nine of spades, is that right? Sounds about right. Yeah, okay, so nine of spades, <laughs> and then hopefully if we did it right, there it is, the nine Ooh. of spades, okay? That was impressive. <laughs> now, you, you, you've got all this, right? Because, well, I'll, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, that is such a sense. Final exam well, time, go. Sure, all right. Here's a deck of cards and shuffle it all you want. Shuffle as much as I want, any way I want. That's my beer. That's, you guys drink? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we there drink. it is. All of a sudden, I don't like this reversal of fortune here. You guys mm -hmm. are the ones drinking instead of me. It's okay. tasty. Cards are shuffled. What do I do? Cut them into three even decks. Even piles, you even say. Piles. All right, done, done, and done. Take the middle pile. The middle pile, or can I pick any pile? You can pick any pile. 
Go ahead, choose what you want. <laughs> You're like, fine, jerk. Go yeah, ahead, take go whatever ahead. file. Well, I'm gonna take the left file, All and right. I'm gonna look at the top card. I'm gonna show the card over here. All right, got it. Now what? Turn it over, put it on any deck that you, any power you want. So I can put it on this one? Sure, go or ahead. Or I could juke you out and put it on that one. If you like. All right, and then what? And then put the Oreo sandwich with the other pile. Then you gotta do the Oreo, got it. Cut them in half, make them even. Cut them, cut them in half, make it, oh, make the piles make even. The, make the piles even. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, got it. That's pretty even. Is it Ripple Shuffle? Ripple, yeah, there ripple you shuffle. go, Ripple Perfect. Shuffle. Yep, that's and you want to say Ripple Shuffle, because otherwise you might get jerks doing this kind of thing, mixing <laughs> them all up, all stupid style. All right, there you go. Uh, now, what I also, here's another thing, is I say, give it give it a Ripple Shuffle. Don't I don't say keep, you know, shuffle them up really good. I'm very careful in my language. I say, give it a Ripple Shuffle, because that implies that I just want you to do it once without actually saying, oh, I need you to only ripple shuffle at once. Got it. That looks great. Well, now um, take your time and cut them into any order you want. Cut them, cut them like that? Yeah, sure, keep going and, until you feel like it's safe. All right, there you go. No, we want safe. you to feel comfortable. Yeah. Safe, I like that. And you guys are drinking again, I'm jealous. All right, got it. Now what? Do you think it's ready? Oh, it's ready. Are you comfortable? There's, you, there's no way you could know where sure. my sure. card is. No, there's no way. All right. All right, let me have that. Little flip. <laughs> that was very subtle. Like, oh, I'm gonna flip the cards. <laughs> we gotta figure out what it is. Oh, what is that? Well, what's your card? It was the Ace of Diamonds. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Confident. Uh, I'm sh let's just say I'm 98% half sure. All right. Bang. Huzzah! Yeah. Well done, yeah, gentlemen! Yeah. Dude, that was freaking yes. fantastic! Yeah. You guys killed it, congratulations! <laughs> A couple of important things to remember about this trick. There is the chance, however small, that the way somebody shuffles the card just maybe will line up all of the face-up cards and face-down cards in such a way that there won't be a big block of cards in the middle, in which case you better be ready to go into one of your other scams. Trust us, you got 200 other ones to pick from. So do me a favor and actually practice this one a few times before you pull it on your friends. Now I want to hear about your success stories and your failure stories, so why don't you hang out with us on the YouTube forums at scamschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. Speaking of which, why don't you and me be BFFs in real life? Why don't you friend me over at facebook.com slash And of course, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Now next week, you're not going to want to miss it. We're going to learn how you can bend spoons with your mind thanks to a little bit of help from legendary blues magician, old John Smokey. It's going to be blues-tacular. I'm playing the spoons on my mind.